pranks, I really do. I don't like those pranks that hurt people, though. I'm not a big fan of that. I just like to mildly inconvenience people. Like, if I pull up next to you at a red light, I'm going to try and get you to roll your window down. As soon as you start rolling yours down, I'll roll mine back up. Be like, no, we're not. Never mind. Change my mind. I don't know. Like, if I were a super villain, I don't think I would kill anybody, but I would unplug a lot of slow cookers. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would put the chicken back in the freezer while you're at work. That'd be my thing. I would be mild inconvenience, man. Nobody would like me. I, I don't even like me. It's not even... The best prank I ever pulled, I actually got 87 people in trouble all at one time. I'm very proud of this. Uh, two pieces of context you need for this story. One, I'm currently in the U.S. Army Reserves. And two, I'm pretty good at voices. And by that, I mean I can do things like, Oh boy! If you don't buy Disney Plus right now, I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> like, I'm good at voices, right? So... So, a couple years ago... Can y'all stop laughing? I only have five minutes. Um, a couple years ago, the Army sends me and like eight other people out to the Mojave Desert to support a much bigger unit. And when we get there, we're greeted by the first sergeant. He has a very distinct voice, and I remember thinking, yeah, I can do that one. <laughs> and so I practiced it for about four days. Day five, he wakes us up in the morning the same way he does every morning. By getting up early, getting dressed, ready for the day. Right before he leaves, he turns around to the open bed and he yells, Wake up! Everybody wake up! It's time to get up! Day five, he leaves, door shuts behind him. I stand up and yell, Go back to sleep! Everybody go back to sleep! One more hour! And then they did. Someone turned the lights back off, it may have been me, and they all went back to sleep! Except for me and the eight people I came with who stood around looking at each other as if to say, there's no fucking way that just worked. <laughs> and someone goes, should we wake them? And I said, don't you fucking dare. This is the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> Let's see how it plays out. <laughs> and so the nine of us got dressed in the pitch black and we stood outside and about an hour later, the first sergeant comes back. And the nine of us stand back and watch as 87 grown men in just their underwear do lunges across the Mojave Desert. And that is the best prank I have ever pulled. <laughs>